Well, you know, the, the cooler temperatures and lower humidity are in the fall will produce some of the best looking roses of the year. So now we're going to let you know a little bit about what to do at this time. That's right. They say that for roses, it's like the second spring for yeah. the fall. So first of all, make sure you're pruning. Yeah. Number one. Clean that air space out between the branches and, you know, one rule of thumb is always go to the fifth leaf uh, where and before you prune. But you can prune a little bit harder this time. Sometimes your roses can get a little bit out of control and a good pruning will help clean them up, will, will help get rid of any of that black spot that maybe have reoccurring black spot because there's not enough air circulation. But like Julio said, the lower humidity is going to help that as well. So make sure you're pruning and make sure you clean your pruners before every cut. So not before, um, let me back up. Clean your pruners before you go on to the next plant is what I'm trying to say. So you get done with it. And what do you do with your pruner, Julio? Oh, I put a little bit of, uh, I take a bucket and I put a little bit of water in there with bleach. Not much bleach, just a little bit. Yep. You know, yep. Yeah. And that, that'll killing, kill any of the, the diseases that you don't want to spread anything. Like even unfortunately, maybe you, you say you've got one rose. Oh no, look, it's got rose rosette. And you go and you prune there and then you go to the next okay. one, you're spreading it. So you want to make sure that you're cleaning those pruners. Wake up the leaves. Don't, don't skimp. Wake up those leaves because those leaves have the spores from different diseases. So you want to make sure you get rid of them and put them in the trash. Uh, I don't I don't even like putting them in the compost pile. Just, yeah. just put them in, in the, hopefully your town does uh, recycling. You, know, you can put them in that. Make sure you're spraying. If you're not done, and I don't care if you have, oh, I have knockout roses. That doesn't matter. You need to control the, the mites that uh, are spreading the... Uh, rose rosette you need to control all other types of insects uh in and that in diseases and you can do that with either a spray uh or a granular and there are contact sprays which you have to do all the time non-stop with the systemics they're going to last a, a lot longer but they're going to take a lot longer to work so if you use a contact rose spray, it'll work right away, but it's not going to last as long. So I honestly, for that first spray, I like using a combination where you can use a granular uh, drench or, or let's not, it's not confusing. New Jersey imidacloprid has been eliminated. Pennsylvania, I'm not sure about New York. You still can use it, but again, it's an unfortunate thing because <laughs> we love it. We still love it. It's a great product. Uh, and then again, fertilize. You're going to use rose tone from a spoma. And for a water soluble fertilizer, um, I know everybody loves Miracle Grow or says Miracle Grow is great, but uh, honestly, Jack's Classic is much better. A 2020 20 analysis is excellent. And this fall, your roses will look terrific. It, it's not. It, it's amazing that your roses in October will look as great as they did in May. So just get this cleaned up, get them, get them ready because they're going to push out and that the, the amount of blooms that you're going to get is going to be terrific. Anything to add, Julio Zamora? I hit it all. I hit it all? Yeah. I hit it all. 